Uh, hello, Robert speaking. Hello, Robert. Is that Robert Skinner? Yes, speaking. Hi there. My name's Ian, and I've been passed your number uh, to give you a call to make an appointment to come and have a chat with you. Oh, right. Re regarding, uh, so I'm just reading through, uh, you've got some questions regarding the New Covenant and the date 1919. Yes, um, people at the cart have very kindly given me Watchtower and Awake magazines. And I've also been given a copy of the Red Revelation, the Grand Climax, it is at handbook. Right. And um, uh, it says in the Red Revelation book, it talks about 1919, it's on page 184, about Jesus choosing the Watchtower Society in 1919. Uh, it's kind of not what I'm used to, it's a, I was a bit puzzled by it, I'd like to know more. But, um, okay, let me just, it's all right, just because my memory's not up good, let me just make some notes a minute. So that was on, so the Revelation book page 184. 184. Okay, yeah. And also said, it's all right, because I always sent the text, um, questions on the new covenant. So any, anything particular? with regard to that that you, you have your mind? Um, well, I believe all Christians are in the New Covenant. Um, at least that's how I would understand the Bible. Um, um, I could be mistaken, of course. Um, but um, the people at the carts told me, um, they showed me the Jeremiah book, page 173, that... Jeremiah book. Yeah. that Jehovah's Witnesses are not part of the new covenant unless you're the anointed. The great crowd have no, they don't have Christ as their mediator. And I was kind right. of a bit shocked at that. Okay, no, so I, I can see where you're coming from. Though. Yes. Um, so it just, it just gives me an idea of the sort of things to uh, do a bit of research on and so forth. So would it be possible then perhaps to meet up with you tomorrow around, say, 11, 11, 15? Um, I, you can certainly give me a ring. Um, if I wish to go to the Kingdom Hall, what is the postcode for the sat-nav? Ah, uh, now you've got me there. <laughs> I don't know what the postcode is off right. the top of my head. Um, how do I get to the Kingdom Hall? I, I'm actually, I travel around quite a lot, so... Where is right, the Kingdom I'm, Hall? I've, I've got the postcode now. Oh, yes. yes. It's D for Delta, Tango 4. Yes. 8, Ju yeah, sorry, J for Juliet. Yes. And H for Harry. <laughs> so I can't remember what the phonetic yes. is for H. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is either, but... Okay, that's, um, that's great. Um, the people at the carts pointed me to a couple of Watchtower articles. If you've got a pen handy, can I just give them to you? Right, yes. Hang on a second. Okay. Thank you. Um, no, Watchtower. Watchtower, 15th of July, 2013. 15th of July, 2013. Okay. Page 11. Page 11. Yes. Um, okay. It says, to settle that question, Jesus began to inspect the spiritual temple in 1914. That right. inspection and cleansing work involved a period of time from 1914 to the early part of 1919. It, it seems to imply that the cleansing work finished in 1919. At least that's the way I would read the article, unless I'm, of course, mistaken. Okay. That's all right. So, uh, without reading it again, I'll just say... Yes. But, but of course, in 1919, they were worshipping Jesus Christ as the Almighty God. They believed that Christ became the Almighty God at his resurrection. That was the official teaching at the time, not in just in 1919, but for decades before and after 1919. Um, the Finnish Mystery, page 240, states that Christ became the Almighty God at his resurrection. And the Finnish Mystery was published in... 1917, two years before 1919. Right. 
and yeah, the Watchtower, I mean, and and well, the. And sorry, and the Watchtower Charters, I've got the 1945 Charter, page two yeah. states, this society was set up for the worship of Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. So they worship Christ as the almighty God. Um, right. You know, they kept Christmas, they kept birthdays in 1919, they used the oh, pyramid. Yes, ab absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, and as obviously, like the scripture says, you know, the light gets brighter, so as we've started to understand things better, we've obviously refined. Do you, do you apply that to other religious groups as well? Would you say the Catholic Church is God's true church because their light gets brighter and brighter and they're refining their doctrines? And the Pentecostals and the Charismatics and the Baptists and the Mormons, all of these are God's true organisation because they also have light that gets brighter and brighter? So the Catholics would be a true church, a true religion that has light that gets brighter and brighter. Well, is it based on the scriptures, the light that gets brighter and brighter, would be my question. I mean, as far as I know, Proverbs 4.18 talks about the path of the righteous getting brighter and brighter. And that's contrasted with the next verse, verse 19, which talks about the way of the wicked they stumble in darkness. I don't think it's got anything to do with doctrine. I think it's yeah. just to do with people who are obedient to God. Um, yeah. Their path gets, gets illuminated in a figurative sense, so their steps are guided by God as they follow God's word. Whereas those who ignore God's word and follow men, Proverbs 4.19 says that their figurative steps, they stumble in darkness. That would be Absolutely. my understanding. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said there was another watchtower as well. Yes, this is the last one that I was quoted. Um, watchtower, 15th of November, 2014, page watchtower, 30. 15th of November, 2014. Yes. Okay. 15th of November, 2014, page 30. How long did this inspection and cleansing take place? It extended from 1914 to the early part of 1919. This period okay. of time includes both the 1,260 days, brackets 42 months, and the symbolic three and a half days referred to in Revelation chapter 11. So it seems to me to imply that the inspection and cleansing finished in 1919, that the okay. organisation was purified in 1919. At least that's that's the way I would understand it, but I could be wrong. Okay, we'll say I will have I will have a look at those references, um, and I mean, I'll, can we call round and see you? Um, you can certainly give me a ring tomorrow morning. I'd prefer a little bit before that time if that's possible. I don't know if. Did you have in mind then? Um, would 9.30 be too early or? Uh, yes, I, I should be in a, a meeting at that point. What's the earliest time? Mm, we could probably manage 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock then, okay. I'll write that down in my diary. Thank you very much. Um, I didn't catch the name, I'm sorry. Yeah, my name is Ian. Ian. Meet up. We, I can then share references and things with yes. you as well. That's well, I, I travel around quite a bit. Um, so at the moment, I'm here, there, and everywhere. Um, I do apologise. Okay. Uh, at the moment, but we can always meet up later, possibly. Um, oh. I'm, I'm sorry? Okay, when you say later, were you thinking of sort of in the afternoon or in the evening or...? Well, I'm not actually in your area at the moment. Um, oh, I'm, I'm travelling around a bit, you see. 
So I, I do. I do. I do apologise. Um, no, no, no. So, so when are you when are you likely to be back in the area? Um, I'm not too sure. Um, uh, uh, it depends on my commitments, really. Um, it depends on what turns up as to where I actually end up going. I do right. apologise. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, do you want to take my mobile number and then you could perhaps just give us a ring when you're, you're local rather than, say, trying to just talk about it over the phone because then we can look at the scriptures and things. Um, I've got your number here. It's popped up on my phone, so I'll write it down. Uh, well, the number that you, you will see coming up is actually the... Uh, our telephone at the Kingdom Hall. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just using that one at the moment. Right. Um, well, look, I'll look forward to speaking to you tomorrow and I can copy down your telephone number tomorrow and when I'm next in the air I can give you a call when I'm back. Would, would that be easy? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. I really okay. do appreciate that. I was really puzzled by the articles because they did seem to teach that a cleansing took place and was completed in 1919. And I'm a bit puzzled about that. So thank you. Thank you for your help. OK. Um, you don't happen to know who you spoke to by the car at all? Well, I've travelled around quite a bit um, and I've spoken to various people at various carts. Oh, right, see. I see. So it wasn't necessarily the ones here in Weymouth? Um, not necessarily, but I've, I've travelled around and spoken to quite, quite a lot, you see. Right. OK. Well, I say, we'll give you a call tomorrow, then, and uh, see what we can uh, come up with in discussion, then. Well, thank okay. you. Thank you very much for your help. I'm extremely grateful to you. Oh, that's all right. Thank you. Bye for now, then. Bye, Ian. Bye.